Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And what we've got in this particular video is the precise location of two points. The name of those points are P and Q. So there is this point P, 15 mm above the HP, above the HP. Now just try to think, above the HP, we've got two quadrants, quadrant one and two. If it lies in front of the VP, that means it is quadrant number one. If it uh, lies behind the VP, then it is quadrant number two. On reading this further, it's clearly stating that it is in front of the VP. That means it's a clear cut case of a point being situated in the first quadrant. So point P is in the first quadrant, 15 mm above the HP, value of H has got to be 15 and 20 mm in front of VP. So this has got to be 20. That's it. Let me try to make this. Um, this over here is VP, right? This over here is the horizontal plane and this is the intersection line of HP and VP also known as the reference line or the xy line which can be seen in the corresponding orthographic projection anyway um, let's 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 try to locate this point p somewhere here now this over here is the height above the horizontal plane and that's 15 so let me write 15 over here and this is the distance in front of the vp that is 20 so let me just write 20 okay so when you try to take a look at this from over here, you're going to have the front view, something, something like this. This is the front on vision. And this right here is for the top view. And the front view of P will be somewhere here. That is going to be P dash. And this is the precise location of its top view. And when you join this, okay, this way. this way okay anyway so this is the line connecting the front view with the top view also known as the projector now let's talk about point Q 25 mm behind the VP so it's behind the VP now guys behind the VP we've got two quadrants quadrant two and uh, or quadrant second and quadrant number third okay. right now if point Q lies above the HP then it is situated in second quadrant. If it is below the HP, it is situated in the third quadrant. Let's read this further. 40 mm below the HP. So clearly stating that the point Q is lying in the third quadrant since it is below the horizontal plane. So below and behind is the definition of point situated in the third quadrant. So um, let, let me fix this up. This is going to be point Q. Okay. This is the distance of the point below the horizontal plane. How much is that? 25 mm behind the VP and 40 mm below HP. So this distance is 40 millimeters and 25 mm behind the VP. This distance is behind the vertical plane. So this is third quadrant. Okay, don't confuse it. This is third quadrant below and behind. Now analyzing this further, the top view of point Q will be over here and the front view of point Q will be over here. Okay, this is going to be Q dash. So Q dash is something that we've achieved in the vertical plane this blue colored plane where a small q is something that we've achieved in this horizontal plane sort of um, a very light uh, pink colored plane anyway and if i were to join this something like this let me try to make this okay we'll make better drawings don't worry and this is what we call the projector of point q and this over here is the projector for point p and one more data has been given to us that the distance between these projectors has been has to be taken as uh, 90 millimeters. Let's say this is uh, one. Let's say this is this right over here is two. So this distance from one to two has to be taken as 90 millimeters. Okay, the distance between projectors for point P and for point Q has to be taken as 90 millimeters. Now let's kick start. And let me write this also. This is actually in the third quadrant. The value of H has got to be 40 mm below HP. Okay, this is 40 and 25 mm behind VP. This is 20. Let's go ahead. Okay, so first of all, you need to draw an XY line. Okay, that's it. That's it. Um, let us let us try to locate this point P first. H and D. First quadrant, H above and D below. Okay, with H, you need to put a dash that means a front view and with D you don't need to put a dash that means a top view that's it so it's going to be 15 above and 20 below 15 above with a dash and 20 below 
without a dash. I mean, p point p with, without a dash. And then from here, the distance between the projector p and projector q has got to be taken as 90 millimeters. Okay, so this point over here and this point over here have to be separated by a distance of 90 millimeters. And now let's let's try to fit in this point q. For point q, we have this policy d above and h below, exactly opposite to quadrant one. So d above, okay, 25 above. This is going to be how much? 25, right? Since this is dimension d, no dash, and 40 below here and since this is dimension h therefore it has to be accompanied with a dash now the steps is pretty much um, obvious you have to join the final top views okay join p with q since no dash and you have to join the final front views p dash with q dash that's it let me write let me write front and top views over here that's it done and dusted so guys uh, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for instant notifications, instant updates. Anyway, I'm going to be back with more such reloaded versions of previous videos. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep drawing, keep learning. Thank you.